The government will expand the number of COVID-19 hospital beds to 10,000 by next month. Beds for regular patients will be allocated to coronavirus patients and health workers from military hospitals will be deployed to treat COVID-19 patients. Now disruptions in the treatment and operation of non-COVID patients will be inevitable. Currently, there are 15,000 beds in hospitals and 17,000 beds in quarantine centers for treating COVID-19 patients with mild symptoms. By next month, the government plans to secure 10,000 more beds, some 7,000 in hospitals and 2,400 at quarantine centers. Select state-run hospitals, including the National Medical Center, will only accept COVID-19 patients. The government vowed to prepare for larger outbreaks by securing enough hospital beds to handle up to 10,000 daily cases. 방역 상황을 보아가면서 필요할 경우에 하루에 1만 5천 명 규모의 확진자를 감당할 수 있는 정도의 그런 대책을 미리 준비하겠습니다. There are also plans to deploy 1,200 additional health workers by dispatching medical officers and public health doctors, as well as ICU nurses, to treat COVID-19 patients. However, hospitals say finding additional medical personnel by January is going to be difficult. 환자를 맡길 수 있도록 되는 데까지 걸리는 시간이 대략 한 2, 3개월 정도 걸리는데 중환자 간호사는 최소 6개월을 봐야 돼요. 일반 병동 간호사가 중환자실로 보내면 일을 못 해요. 아무리 숙련된 간호사라도 그 경험이 없으면 Disruptions in the treatment and operation of non-COVID-19 patients will likely be inevitable for the time being. 이미 다른 중환자 병상이 자리가 별로 없고 다른 의료기관으로 보낸다면 진료할 수 있는 의료진이나 설비나 이런 부분에 대한 걱정이 있고 the government pledged to work towards minimizing damage from disruptions in healthcare services for regular patients. 코로나19의 할애하는 과정에서 이른바 이제 의료적 용어로는 선택적인 좀 수술들 영역 같은 경우는 축소가 불가피하다는 게각 병원장님들 혹은 의료 현장에서의 의견들이었습니다. The government plans to set up a task force comprising government agencies and the private sector to secure hospital beds and medical personnel.